Hi Leo, welcome to Angel Love 333. Welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe. Um, before I start the reading, just go over a couple things. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, you can check out my playlist link uh, below if you'd like to check out your other signs or other readings. Additionally, uh, right now I'm not doing personal readings, but I am giving away personal readings each month. Details are below on how to enter. And then lastly, I will be doing an extended uh, love reading. Uh, if this reading resonates with you, there is a link below. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Let's cut these cards and we will start. <clears throat> Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo in love? What messages do you have for Leo in love? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. We have the Ten of Wands. Three of Swords. Ten of Cups. The Strength card, Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands, the Four of Cups, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Eight of Wands. All right, so give me just a moment, Leah, so I can hone in on the energy here. Okay. So bottom of the deck here, you have the Eight of Wands. You've got uh, your energy here, Leo. You also have Sagittarius and Aries. There's definitely a love energy that is coming towards you. I feel like for some of you, this definitely could be new love energy because you have the Ace of Cups and you have the Ace of Pentacles here. I get... Um, There's definitely an energy where I feel there may be somebody that recently broke your heart here with the Three of Swords. Somebody I feel um, where there may have been lack of stability or something here where the foundation uh, between you and this person, um, you know, uh, kind of crumbled here, right? Uh, there was lack of stability, lack of trust for some of you. Uh, definitely I'm getting disappointment with someone here. All right. I feel it's very interesting here because I feel almost like the energy is scattered for some reason. Um I definitely get in the center of your reading you have the Ace of Pentacles, which tells me that uh, stability here is a big thing, right? I feel like there could be a new love coming in for you here with this Ace of Coin and the Eight of Wands, right? Some of you may be healing from a past situation is what I'm getting. But uh, let's go through these. So in your recent past, you have the Ten of Wands, you have the Strength card, and you have the Ace of Cups. I do feel like you may have released... A relationship, uh, a very hurtful or painful relationship here because you also have the Three of Swords, right? Or you may be healing from a past situation that was very hurtful to you. So I feel there's an energy here of you releasing uh, a burden of the past, okay, with someone. Now, uh, you have the Strength card, Strong Leo energy. You have the Ace of Cups. Uh, actually, your energy there. <laughs> I feel like you've had to be strong through this situation. And I feel, Leo, that you are open to new love because of the situation. And I feel like 
uh, you had to release some sort of heavy energy to open yourself up to new love, right? Um, now, I just want to say for some of you, this isn't going to be for all of you. Some of you, this can be, you know, someone that you're still hoping to be with is what I'm getting. And you may just be uh, releasing the burden, carrying the, <coughs> excuse me, carrying the burden of the relationship, being strong. Okay, so let's look at this. You have the Three of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and you have the King of Wands. So again, your energy here with the King of Wands. Yeah, I feel you're, you're going through some sort of healing, um, Leo. And I, I get the sense more so that there is new love coming in for you or you're open to new love. Um, <clears throat> you have the Ten, of Pen uh, I'm sorry, the Ten of Cups, the Tower card, and the Four of Cups. So what's interesting about this, this is why I'm saying that I feel like the energy is scattered here. And the reason I feel that is I feel there's definitely there was hurt and loss between you and another person. But the same token, I feel like you are open to new love or maybe you you have started to put yourself out there dating. But I feel with this tower, this four of cups and this ten of cups and this eight of wands, I feel unexpectedly uh, your person that I feel that may have caused this hurt and pain is coming back around. Okay. This person that uh, I feel may have, or this person where there's you experienced either broken trust, I'm getting here, or lack of stability in a situation. And I feel with this Four of Cups, you're going to be very hesitant. Uh, it could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel like you're going to be very hesitant when this person comes around. And I feel that you may have other options here as well okay and um so you may be investigating what they have to say okay what their intentions are <clears throat> but there is some sort of energy coming through here and i'm probably going to clarify this ace of pentacles just to see uh if i can determine whether that is new love or that is uh someone i see possibly returning but let's get some more messages for you leo thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what other messages do you have for leo okay so you have the knight of swords you have the chariot you've got strong cancerian energy there you have aquarius libra gemini and you have the queen of pentacles and bottom of the deck here you have the death card okay strong scorpio energy all right, so there's definitely a new beginning, I feel, happening for you. <laughs> there's somebody I feel, there's somebody coming towards you here with this Knight of Wands and this Chariot. It's definitely a fast-moving energy. And with that Eight of Wands, I feel there's definitely communication coming through. And it may be just out of the blue when you're not expecting it. And like I said, for some of you, I feel like this is new love. And for some of you, I feel this is somebody uh, that you have been dealing with, right? And it may be that your strength has gotten you through. Uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles here as well. I'm getting here too. Some of you may be very focused on your money, your business. You may be doing very well for yourself. This is a very independent energy. And some of you actually may be hesitant to receive any offers from anyone um, because I feel like you're very focused right now on your goals, okay? So for some of you, you may be very focused on business. You may have started a business or you own a business or just very focused on your career. But I do sense there is somebody coming towards you. Um, and it's going to be out of the blue. It does feel like an energy here with this Ace of Pentacles. It's something for the long term. It's a connection where I feel things are going to grow for the long term. For, you know, it can go either way, I feel, whether it's new love or it is uh, someone from your past. But let's uh, clarify. 
Uh, for a lot of you, I feel it's somebody who disappointed you here with this Ten of Cups, the Tower, and the Four of Cups. Somebody who hurt you in the past. But for those of you who have completely moved on, okay, where, you know, there is definitely, uh, there was an ending here. I do sense um, there is somebody new coming in. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Okay, you have the Chariot, Cancerian energy. You have the Nine of Swords. You have the World card and bottom of the deck. Here you have the Magician. So you're definitely manifesting a new beginning in your situation with the Death card here and the Magician. You have the Chariot, you have the Nine of Swords, and you have the World card. Interesting, Leo. I feel here, Leo, um, some of you are having a difficult time moving forward from a connection is what I'm getting here, okay? And it may be for some of you, right, that... There may be a new person coming in here that is going to help you move forward. That's going to be for some of you. But for others, I do sense that there is an opportunity uh, for you and this person, look here, uh, to work things out. Because you do have the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, and you have the King of Cups. And I'm just going to say here, you also have the Six of Wands, right? Whatever I feel here, you know, with this Wheel of Fortune, whatever your situation is and how you want it to work out, whether you want to move forward towards new love or you want someone, uh, you want to work on things with someone, I almost feel here, you know, it, things are going to go in your favor because I also see here financial success. I see you uh, really focused towards goals movement a lot of movement i feel here in your life okay you got the death card here as well so i do feel after a period of time of some sort of ending i do feel like there is a big shift here a change with the wheel right now some of you like i said uh, for those of you that are having a hard time moving forward from um, a person here there's some sort of worry or something on your mind about it okay uh I feel that if you're wanting another opportunity with this person, I do feel that there is a second chance. Um, and I didn't say this too. You have the Page of Pentacles here as well. After an ending, right? There's some sort of renewal happening. Now, this can be the new person I'm seeing coming in. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But this also can be a message of good news. I see someone coming towards you definitely uh, in that energy. So let's uh, pull some Renee's Angel cards, see what additional messages come out for you. Thank you, Angels, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo in love? What messages do you have for Leo in love? Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So someone is going to reach out to you. Like I said, they're going to show their interest. They have something to express, something to say. Look at that. You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, so I read this. This can be a new love card, but this also can be um, somebody else that it has their eye on you. I always say this is someone who has their eye on you. They uh, know the target here. They're very focused, right? They're coming towards you. Let's get another message for Leo. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings uh, with each other. So I do get for some of you, there's new love coming in. Um, and for, you know, it could be both scenarios, uh, really here with this four of cups, that might be why you are hesitant, 
uh, in your situation because I feel that you could have other options here as well because like I said here with this Queen of Pentacles and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. This is very attractive energy so you may even feel like people are just drawn to you at this time, right? They're seeing how successful you are. Uh, I always say, you know, you're in your element, very majestic energy there. Uh, and I say this because the bottom of the deck here, you have unrequited love. So I feel for some of you, you know, you may have the situation where you got new love coming in, but you also have somebody here returning who wants to talk about things. And this may be somebody who uh, rejected you in the past or made you feel unvalued. And for others, you know, you may just be open to new love. So Leo, um, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to look at your person. Uh, this person I feel who is returning, right? What uh, they're feeling, what they're thinking, what their upcoming actions are. We'll do love messages and guidance. If the energy does not look good there, we will see what the energy looks for new love. So I hope to see you on the extended, Leo. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.